This is meditation to learn how to use the energy of our spirit to transform the energies in our energy body. The energies in our energy body can get stuck in a certain state, like a habit. And these patterns are crystallized energies. The pattern itself is not right and wrong, it simply is. And because this crystallized, it cannot change itself. This is why we call upon our spirit to provide an outside influence to aid us in our process of transformation and growth. Close your eyes. And bring your attention to the center of your chest. In the center of our chest, we can listen to all our patterns, all our voices, the desires from our belly, the emotions in our heart the thoughts in our head. To be able to face the future, to be able to adapt ourselves. All these energies need to be able to respond, to shape new patterns, so we can be free from the past and ready to embrace the future. Listen to yourself and feel a desire, a feeling or a thought which is coming back all too often This pattern is a form of automation, something you've done a lot in the past, that you're now continuing to do without willing it, without thinking about it. It has become a part of you. But now it is time to rid ourselves of our past. First, we need to build a good contact. So allow this pattern to show itself, to speak to you. Even though it may cause us suffering or discomfort now. It came into existence to help us to free our attention. Before we can start changing this pattern, we need to acknowledge it and let that part of ourselves know that its mission is done. Thank you fragment of my being for reminding me of where I came from for giving me stability a form and a function 
in my past. I know you exist to serve me. I'm grateful for what you did. But now it is time to move onward. Therefore listen to my spirit and embrace its power so you may be one with my spirit once more. Open your heart wider and wider. To feel the golden warmth of your spirit slowly awakening in your heart. Even though these memories may be troubling, Feel that your spirit is not troubled by them. It is pure, it is free. As the light of the Spirit starts to grow in your heart, so let it start to soften your energy body. Feel how your thought begin to melt like butter. Feel how the ice in your heart starts to melt under the warmth of your spirit. Feel how your sharp pangs of desire become meek by the love of your spirit. Offer all you are and all you ever were up to your spirit. Allow yourself to return to your source like a wave which has crawled up the beach it is now flowing black back into sea. Feel how the sea is deep and welcoming. Though even every wave lives only for a moment, the sea is eternal, just like your spirit is eternal. Feel how all these things troubling you are dissolving in this deep sea. Your fear, your pain, your needs, your worries. That all that matters is the desire 
of your spirit to cast another wave upon the beach to take another step into the future can be that there are little parts of your past which will need to return in the future which you will need to work more upon and that's okay but let them do so in new forms No use in repeating something you've already done ten times over. Let these little pebbles of truth, these little grains of karma, also flow back into your spirit. It helps shape the new wave, the new form, flowing forth from your spirit. them flow into your belly, it's new desires, new inspiration. Let them flow into your heart, it's new connection, new emotions. Let them flow into your head. new thoughts and concepts. Let all these parts of your being become more attuned to your spirit as with every breath Spirit fills you as you breathe in. You release your past back to the earth as you breathe out. The earth created your body to everything which happened to your body. Now give all these memories of your body back to the earth. You don't have to remember everything which happened to you. Let the earth do that for you. Let the earth carry you and support you. Feel how it gives you structure and stability. it makes things clear and precise. So you can feel what still lies before you, what still needs to be done. you need to take with you from your past, what you need to create in your future, and also everything that you can leave behind you to unburden yourself. And the more of your energy you release to the earth, fuller you become with the energy of your spirit. And 
the lighter your energy body becomes. The light energy body can attract other lights. And feel these other sources of light which are guiding you into the future. Feel that you're now able to respond to these other lights, to the other spirits, to the other souls who touch your path. How you can connect to them, embrace them, become one with them, share with them. Because you can now truly relate to them. Instead of only being able to relate with your own past, only able to see through the reality filter of your past. Purify yourself from the illusion of what happened to you. Your spirit is immortal. Know that your soul is eternal. That structure is not rigid but ever changing. Allow your structure to flow. Allow the forms of the earth to flow through you. Just like the wind bears new weather with it, so the earth will bear new experiences, emotions and desire with that. Let these winds of time blow through you. Do not try to hold on to them. Anchor this energy of your spirit in your heart, in your head, and in your belly, so it can continue to guide you in all things. your meditation. If you need to be more sharp and awake at the end of the meditation, you may choose to draw in more energy from the earth, to bring you more into the here and the now, to give you focus. Or you can stay in a more dreamy, spirit-like state, if you wish. 